One of the greatest scientific discoveries was that the universe and our planet Earth are extremely old. Geologic time is vast, so immense that it can be difficult to imagine the lengths of time involved. Some geologic processes, like volcanic eruptions or landslides, can change the landscape in an instant. But most processes occur very slowly, over tens of thousands, millions, or even hundreds of millions of years. Humans struggle to comprehend geologic time because most changes take place on timescales much longer than our own lifetimes. Here are two photographs of Bonot Bend on the San Juan River in Canyonlands National Park. The photo on the left was taken in 1871. The photo on the right was taken at the same spot 97 years later. Let's compare these photos to see how much has changed. The most obvious change is in the vegetation. The water level in the river has changed slightly, and with it the location of the plants along its banks. But if we focus on the geologic changes, there are very few differences between the photos. In the upper part of the image, we can see two large boulders that have moved partway down the slope. And if we zoom out, there are only a handful of other changes in the landscape. If we look at how little has changed over what would be a very long human life, it's amazing to consider how much time it took to carve the cliffs and valleys of this landscape. One way to try to understand the scale of geologic time is to relate it to something more familiar. Let's look at two examples. First, we'll use a yardstick to represent the entire history of the planet Earth. A yardstick is 36 inches long. The Earth is about 4.6 billion years old, so each inch on the yardstick represents about 128 million years. The earliest life developed 3.9 billion years ago, or about 5.5 inches from the beginning of the yardstick. 2.5 billion years ago, or about 16.4 inches, cyanobacteria began to flourish. Sometimes called blue-green algae, these microorganisms used photosynthesis to produce much of the free oxygen in the atmosphere that allowed other types of life to develop. 540 million years ago, or at 31.8 inches, the first hard-shelled organisms appeared in the ocean. Hard shells are much more likely to be preserved as fossils, so we know much more about life that existed after this point than before. 430 million years ago, or at 32.6 inches, plants first began to grow on land. Dinosaurs first appeared about 230 million years ago, or at 34.2 inches on the yardstick. About 65 million years ago, or about one inch later, the dinosaurs died out. Human history occupies a very short amount of geologic time. Three million years ago, or at 35.98 inches, humans appeared in East Africa. In the year 27 BCE, or 35.99998 inches, the Roman Empire was founded. And in 1776, or 35.999998 inches, the United States of America was founded. That's just two millionths of an inch from the end of the yardstick. We can also represent geologic time as a one-year calendar. If 12 a.m. on January 1st represents the formation of the Earth, and midnight on December 31st represents the present day, then the earliest life appeared around February 25th. On June 16th, cyanobacteria developed and produced free oxygen in the atmosphere. On November 19th, marine organisms with hard shells evolved. On November 27th, plants first grew on land. 
On December 13th, the dinosaurs appeared. On December 26th, about two weeks later, the dinosaurs died out. The next events happened in a very short span, the last few hours of the last day of the year, December 31st. At 6.17 p.m., the first humans appeared in East Africa. Fifteen seconds before midnight, the Roman Empire was created. And just two seconds before midnight, the United States was founded. These two examples help illustrate the vastness of geologic time, and just how short human history is in comparison. More than 90% of the geologic history of the Earth passed before the first plants appeared on land. More than 99.9% .9 of the Earth's history passed before the first humans walked on the planet. And the entire history of the United States occupies just a few millionths of a percent of the geologic timeline. So as we discuss the geologic evolution of the Earth in our other videos, take a moment to think about these examples and consider the immense lengths of time over which those changes took place.